<clears throat> okay. Good uh, one. I explained I explained uh, magic field lines yesterday class once again I record all points so first point uh, electric field lines electric field lines. the concept of magnetic field lines was introduced by Faraday Faraday <coughs> for isolated uh, positive charge <coughs> for isolated positive charge so electric field lines are tight line electric field lines tight for a system two or more charges charges field lines are field lines are corrosion okay that is the properties uh, I explained. I explained the properties very clearly in yesterday class. Next, to tangent drawn at any point on the any point on the any point on the electric field lines. The point <coughs> that gives the direction of uh, direction of electric field, direction of electric. Field. direction of electric field now Okay, next count sigma. Concept. Concept number one. <clears throat> concept number one. In this concept, So this is a electric field line, second field line, third field line, fourth field line, fifth field line, sixth field line. Now like this. Now this is electric field lines. Electric field lines. Now you see the electric field lines. This is a A point. This is a A point. A point. Mm. Now, this is a B point. B point. <clears throat> this is a field line number one, field line number two, field line number three, field line number four, field line number five, field line number six. At this point, uh, at this point, A point, this is a B point. B point. Here, which point having a more electric field? Which point having less electric field? Less electric field. A is a EA. Electric field at A point. EA means uh, electric field at A point. EB means uh, electric field at B point. Electric field at A point is greater than to electric field at B point. The reason is A is at this point. A is at this point. Here, <coughs> this is a one. Two, three, four, five, six. These field lines are so very crowd, crowd. And the electric field is at this maximum. Electric field is at this point maximum. Here, at this point B is. Uh, this is a field line. These are field lines. But here, field lines are wider. This is a wider field lines. Wider. Electric field lines are wider here. So electric field, electric field. Electric field is uh, 
crowd crowd electric field is crowd but here wider electric field is uh, wider field is wider field is wider here so electric field is uh, maximum electric field is a uh, maximum electric field is a uh, electric field is a uh, maximum here electric field is maximum field is field is a uh, minimum mini mini mum mini mum okay field is uh, here wider here one two three four five six six lines are away from v point the field is wider at this point field is minimum field is minimum electric field is a crowd one two three four five six lines are at this point electric field is crowd at this point field is a uh, field is a uh, maximum field is maximum field is maximum this is a field line electric field line this is another field line this is one more field line this is one more field line this is another field line this is one more field line we have the so many field lines so many field lines here so electric field is uh, at a point is a uh, maximum then to b point b point and uh, similarly electric force force greater than two electric force at a point is greater than two electric force uh, at b point at this b point this is concept number one concept number one this one uh, next second concept concept number number two concept number two this is a field line electric field line this is a one more field line this is a one more field lines here three lines here three lines here a point this is a b point this is a c point c point now we will see electric field lines this direction this is a direction of electric field lines this is a direction of electric field now you will see electric field at a point ea <coughs> ea means uh, electric field at a point eb means uh, electric field at b point ec means electric field at c point electric field at c point now you will see ea and ec both are you see these lines are very near very three at a point and c point electric field are both are same a point <coughs> electric field at a point is equal to electric field at a c point both are equal but b is a b is a, what will happen so electric field is uh, very less very less this is a point you will see here this is a uh, field lines are wider <coughs> field lines are uh, crowd crowd field is crowd here at this point is a uh, field is uh, wider field is uh, wider field is wider now you will see c point also field is a uh, field is a uh, Mm, crowd field is a crowd see this is c point this line and this line this line are three lines are there this is a field is field is a crowd and a c point electric field at c point is maximum and this is a point field is a field is crowd field is crowd electric field at a point is maximum electric field at a point is equal to electric field at a c point both are equal both are equal but b is uh, field is wider this line and this line both are away from this point away from this point b point ki e line e line chala dooram lo unnai kabatti wider field is wider field is wider but here field is minimum field is minimum here minimum that is a point concept number next concept number this is a positive charge this is a negative charge negative charge this is a electric field line start from positive positive terminal at ending at negative charge this is one more charge this is a field line this is one more field line this is a 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 10 and this is a uh, uh, 1 two, three, four. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay eight lines how many eight lines now you will see 
QA by QB. QA by QB question mark. QA by QB. QA by QB. This is a QA. This is a QB. So question mark. You will see here QA by QB is equal to three lines. Now you will see positive. This positive charge having three lines. This positive charge having three lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten three lines. QA, QA charge, QA having ten three lines. Ten three lines. Now minus QB having how many three lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight three lines. Eight three lines. Now you will see by two by two. To divide the two two ones to five so two ones to four five by four five by four that is answer your answer is five by four five by four your answer that is the concept one more concept one more concept now next you will see the one more concept one more concept Now we will see this is a parallel plate, positive charge, positive plate. This is a negative plate. This is a parallel plate capacitor also. The parallel plate capacitor provides a uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. This is a electric field from positive terminal to negative terminal. Now I'm placing here. This is a conductor. This is a conductor. Conductor. This is a conductor. So what will happen in this conductor? So electric field is from from positive to negative terminal. Positive to negative terminal. Now you will see in conductor this is a positive plate. So positive plate will attract negative charge this direction. This is a negative plate. Negative plate. This negative plate will attract uh, negative charges, uh, positive charges of the conductor this side. So what will happen? This is a original electric field. This is the induced electric field, induced electric field. But E net is equal to, so what will happen? Induced minus EA, both are equal. Both are equal means electric field is zero. E net is equal to zero. E net is equal to zero. Suppose this is a parallel plate. This is a parallel plate capacitor. One plate having positive charge. Other plate having the negative charge. This is a direction of uh, Original electric field. Original electric field. This is a positive plate. Positive plate having positive charge. This is another plate. This plate having negative charges. We call this is a parallel plate capacitor. Parallel plate capacitor. Yeah. This parallel plate capacitor gives a uniform magnetic field. This parallel plate capacitor provides uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. Now, I can, uh, I'm taking the dielectric slab. Dielectric slab is uh, placed uh, between the plate. This is a dielectric slab. Dielectric slab. Now, this positive charge also will attract a negative charge this side. This negative charge also attract a positive charge this direction. This is a direction. Now, so this dielectric slab is uh, electric field. Is, uh, this is electric field direction. Induced electric field. We are calling induced electric E net is equal to original electric field minus E net. This is a, but this is a metal plate. This is a conductor, conductor, conductor having dielectric constant is, uh, dielectric is, uh, K is called infinity, but uh, this is a dielectric uh, some value. This is a K, that is a dielectric constant K. Now, E net is equal to original electric field minus uh, induced electric field, induced electric field. Now, you will see the, a conductor placed between the capacitor is uh, unit is equal to zero. Dielectric slab is uh, placed between two conductor, uh, two parallel plate capacitor means unit is equal to E naught minus E i. E i that is very very important. Very very important. Now we will see next concept. Uh, it's an important question. 
concept number concept number two concept number two here this is a, a point this is a b point this is a capital q this is a 2q question is a electric field at a is e the electric uh, electric field at b is at b is at b is question mark that is a question <clears throat> this is concept this is very important now you will see the this is a a point this is a b point this is a capital q this is a 2q electric field at a point is e at this point electric field is e the electric field at b point is at this b point now i'm going to uh, do the answer on is uh, very simple i'm taking suppose this is a capital q I'm taking this is a point so distance between this point this is a point i'm taking q naught this is a point is b one part next i'm dividing this one is uh, this is a two q charge a distance between two charges at this uh, this is a, a point i'm placing q naught test charge i'm dividing like this this problem can be divided into this is a uh, i'm dividing like this why means this is concept intensity of electric field due to point charge this is a point charge b is the point charge test charge test charge is placed at this point this is a 2q 2q this is a point a electric field at the a point electric field here so we have to calculate we have to calculate the electric field at the a point here we have to calculate the electric field at the b point b and combining to these two problems we are getting this now i'm going to solve the answer i will see so what is given data so what is given data given data is electric field at a point is e electric field at a point is e e okay electric field at a point is e at a e is equal to e we take now electric field at a b point so electric field generally intensity of electric field due to point charge means formula what is a formula k q by r square this is a formula this is a at this point we have to calculate intensity of electric field at this point is equal to k into k means 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by distance between two charges is r square this is a e b value now e a is equal to e e a is equal to you can take e a is equal to e electric field e okay e is equal to e is equal to electric field at a point is electric field at a point is due to the charge so k into 2q by distance between the two charges r square that is a r square now e is equal to this is a 2k q by r square i'm right r square i'm right now we'll see this is a k by k into k k into q by r square means uh, i'm going to write uh, eb eb is equal to k into q by r square i'm writing eb this is ea now you can write to uh, ea is equal to e nothing happen okay now now we'll see i want electric field at b point is b point is electric field at b point is uh, you will see ea by 2 your answer is this one now you will see this is a positive charge basic point is a basic basic point is a basic point point so this is a positive charge this is a point charge q not this q will repel to this q not is this direction that is the electric direction of electric field is this one. positive charge is electric field is away from the charge for example negative charge this is a positive charge negative charge negative charge 
this is a point charge distance between here so this is a negative charge this is a positive charge negative charge will attract positive charges towards this direction electric field also this direction negative charge means electric field is towards a charge positive charge means electric field is away from the charge away from the charge positive charge means direction of direction of electric field is uh, away from the charge negative charge means direction of electric field is uh, towards a charge towards a charge that is a very 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 important positive charge means direction of electric field is away from the positive charge negative charge direction of electric field is towards a negative charge towards a negative charge now you will see this is a positive charge direction of electric field is away from the charge this is a positive charge positive charge direction of electric field is away from the charge this is a electric field you see the electric field direction of electric field is this direction this is a direction both are in electric field is in opposite direction opposite direction both are in opposite direction means i am taking this is a negative that is a very very important very very important point Next second one. Second. Okay. Next second one. <clears throat> this is a basic point. Keep in your mind. This is a Q, this is a X point, this is a Y. This is a minus 3Q, minus 3Q. The electric field at uh, Y is E. The electric field at uh, X is, this is a question. Next, a second question. This is a, your second question. This is X point. This is a Y point. Capital Q is placed at the X point. Minus 3Q is placed at the Y point. Electric field at Y is E. The electric field at X is dash. So what is the answer? What is the answer? Now, this problem can be divided into two parts. Part 1, part 2. And part 1, Part one, you can divide. This is a Q. Suppose this is a Q. Now I'm dividing. This is a Q. Q means this side. I'm taking. I'm taking distance between the two charges. And this is a Y point. I'm taking the test charge. Test charge. Next to part two. Part two. Part two means this is a minus three Q. Distance between the this is a point charge x here i'm taking the test charge q naught i'm dividing the two parts this problem can be divided into two parts two parts two parts this is a, this one belongs to intensity of electric field due to point charge intensity of electric field due to point charge that is a formula is the intensity of intensity of electric field uh, intensity of Intensity of electric field E of means electric field due to point charge due to point charge point charge means that is electric field is equal K Q by R square that is a general formula this is a general formula general formula that is a one more basic point now this is also <clears throat> this is a source charge this is a point this is a y point q naught is placed at this point q naught is placed at this point and we have to calculate uh, at this point we have to calculate uh, intensity of electric field at this point is equal to general formula k by q by r square now your Q means your Q. Distance between the two charges is R squared. Now, over. Now, same here. At this point, we have to calculate intensity of electric field at this point due to the charge. 
due to the charge. Now, intensity of electric field at the X point is equal to uh, what is a plus three Q. This is a three Q. I'm taking the minus. This is minus Q, but I'm taking three Q by distance between the two charges is uh, R square. Yeah. That is a E X. Uh -huh. E X. Now we will see E X. So E X here. Now given condition. So what is a E Y is equal to E Y given data. Given data, E Y is equal to E. Okay. Now I'm taking E X is equal to three K Q by R square. Now you see K into Q by R square means uh, E X is equal to three into E Y. I'm right. E Y. I'm right. Now. Electric field at x point I want. Electric field at x point I want. This is answer. E x is equal to E x is equal to three into E y means uh, E y means uh, uh, E y means E y is equal. I am writing E. You can write this is your answer. This is a or answer. This is a magnitude, but direction. Direction is this is a positive charge. This is a basic point. Positive charge. Direction of electric field is away from the charge. Negative charge. Direction of electric field is towards the charge. This is a charge. Direction of electric field is away from the charge. Negative charge. Direction of electric field is towards the charge. Towards the charge. Now, this is a first charge. Direction of electric field is at this point is outward direction. Outward direction. Now, part two. This is a minus Q. Minus Q. This is a first charge. This minus Q will attract positive charges. This direction, direction of electric field is towards a charge. Direction of electric field is away from the charge. My uh, Q means this is a direction of electric field. This is a minus three Q means direction of electric field. This direction both are same direction. Both are same direction means uh, I'm writing this is a past past to side. Both electric field are same direction. Both electric field are same direction means I'm taking the past two. Both are in opposite direction means I'm taking negative, negative. That is your answer. This is a very important, very, very important. You will see another one. That is a very, very, very important. Okay, you will see clarity. Now, part one, part two. You combine the part one, part two. You combine the part one, part two. Now, this is a Q. This is a direction of E. This is a minus three Q. Direction of electric field is this direction, both are same direction. This is uh, your answer. Your answer. This is very important. Now you'll see. Concept number three. Concept number three. Concept number three. Concept number three. Tension in a string. In a tension in a string in a uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. Uh, tension in a string in a electric field. In a electric field, not a uniform. Tension in a electric field. Electric this is also a very important application very important application now we will see so this is a plate 
this is one more plate. This plate having positive charge. This is a plate having negative charge. Negative charge. Negative charge. Negative charge. Now I'm taking the positive charge. This is a string. String. One end is connected here, another end is connected to both. This is a bob. That is a bob. Now this bob having positive charge. I'm taking one more string. This string is uh, one end is connected here, another end is connected to one more bob. This bob having negative charge. Negative charge. Negative charge. Now we will see basic point. Basic point. This is a parallel plate capacitor. This plate having positive charge. This is a positive potential. This plate having positive charge means this plate having positive, uh, positive potential. This plate having negative means uh, this plate having negative potential. Electric field is from positive to negative. This is a direction of electric field. Direction of electric field is from positive to negative. Distance between the two plate is D. Distance between the two plate is D. This is a basic point. ED is equal to ED is equal to positive potential minus negative potential. This is a potential difference. This is a voltage so ED. E means uh, electric field. D means distance between the two plates. So V means volt. Voltage. Voltage. This is a basic point. That is a basic point. Once again, this is a uh, one plate. This plate having positive charge. Positive charge gives positive potential. This plate having negative charge. Negative charge gives negative potential. This positive, uh, this plate having positive potential. This plate having negative potential. Now you will see direction of electric field. Uh, direction of electric field is always from positive terminal to negative terminal. Direction of electric field is from positive to negative direction. Negative direction. D is a distance between the two plates. D is a distance between the two plates. E, in, e into D is equal to positive potential minus negative potential. That is a potential difference between a higher potential minus lower potential we call voltage. E D is equal to V. E means electric field. D means distance between the two plates. So V means voltage. This is a basic point. Now you will see. Do you know very well? This is a positive charge. This is a positive charge. This is a positive plate. This is a negative plate. Negative plate. Now you will see this negative negative charge. This is a positive charge. Now this is a positive charge. This is also positive charge. This positive charge will ripple to this positive charge is downward direction. That is a electric force. Electric force. F is downward direction. This positive charge will ripple to this positive charge is downward direction. This positive plate to push the positive charge is downward direction. That force is Fp. Electrostatic force. We call electrostatic force. Now, you will see this bob having mass m. Weight of this one. Weight of the charge is uh, adds vertically downward direction. That is mg. That is a mg. Now this is a string. This string having tension. This is a tension T. This is a T pulls the, the charges upward direction. This T pulls the this positive place downward direction. Both are in opposite direction same. Now this this uh, tension pulls the positive place downward direction. This tension pulls the this Q naught is upward direction. This tension, okay, pull the, this is a uh, plate downward direction. Both are, uh, both are in a uh, rest position, but uh, both are, uh, tensions are equal in opposite direction. Net uh, tension in a string is zero. Net, net uh, string, net uh, tension in a string is zero. Okay, now we will see, the charge is at rest position, equilibrium position. So we have to write any equations, any equations. The bob should be in rest position. The bob is, the bob is at rest, at rest or equilibrium. Equilibrium means uh, now you can write. Uh, so this is a tension. You can apply the upward force. This is upward force is equal to 
downward force. F, F E plus E M C. F E plus E M C. This is a positive charge. Positive charge. Positive charge. T nothing but force. T nothing but force. F is equal to F E plus E M C. F means according to Newton's second law, E M A. This is F E means do you know intensity of electric field is equal to F by Q. Positive charge. This is a positive charge. F is equal to E Q. This is a electric force. Electric force. F is equal to E Q. Electrostatic force. Uh, F is equal to E Q plus. Uh, this is a uh, M Z. That is a uh, M Z. M take the side. What happened? This is a uh, A is equal to E Q by M plus M Z by M. M M cancel. This is A means acceleration to the gravity. This is I am writing G F it. A is acceleration to the gravity. A means I am writing G effect is equal to G plus E Q by M. This is a G effect. This is a G effect. That is a G effect. Now you will see the this is a, a negative charge. Negative charge. You will see the negative charge. This is a positive charge. For negative charge, what will happen? Negative. This is a negative plate. A ripple to negative charge is upward direction. That is, the electric force is upward direction. This is a negative plate. This plate having negative charge. This negative charge will ripple to negative charges in upward direction. Weight acts vertically downward direction. This thing having double side tension. Double side tension. You can write the free body diagram. Free body diagram. Upward force. The bob is at rest. The bob is at rest means. Uh, uh, E plus F E is balancing by the M Z. M Z is balancing by the F E plus tension. M Z is equal to E plus F E. T plus F E. Don't confuse. Don't confuse here. Don't confuse like this. This is a downward force. Weight is balanced by the T plus F E. T plus F E. The bob is at rest position. The bob is at rest. Now, I'm going to simplify this equation. If we take the side, T is equal to mg minus F. T nothing but force mg minus this is a uh, eq. F is equal to eq. According to Newton's second law, F is equal to ma mg minus eq. Now, m take the side. A is equal to mg by m minus eq by m. Now, A means I'm writing acceleration to gravity means G affect to I'm writing. So, uh, MM cancel, MM cancel. G minus EQ by M. This is a G affect to G affect to. Why I'm going to calculate this one means uh, actually this is a simple pendulum. Simple pendulum for positive charge. This is a negative charge. For it, this is a positive charge. So T is equal to 2 pi root of L by G. This is a T means a time period. 2 pi is constant. Root of L means a length of the string. G means a acceleration to gravity. Acceleration to gravity. Acceleration to gravity. And then G effect. G effect. T is equal to 2 pi root of L by G effect. G effect means for positive charges, G effect G plus EQ by M, EQ by M. This is your. This is our time period of time period of simple pendulum. Simple pendulum. Now time period of simple pendulum for negative charge is uh, T is equal to two pi root of L by G effect. G effect. T is equal to two pi root of L by length. L means length of the string. G means a G effect means I'm going to write a. Uh, G minus uh, EQ by F. Your answer is this one. This is very, very important for the competitive exams. This is competitive. I will see. This is a very, very important. You see, concept number three, tension in a string in a electric field. Basic point, this is a basic point. 
this is one plate this is another plate this plate having positive charges this plate having negative charges d is distance between two plates two plates direction of electric field from positive charge to negative charge now e into d is equal to higher potential minus lower potential this plate having positive charge means positive charge gives positive potential this plate having negative charge negative charge gives negative potential this is a potential difference higher potential minus lower potential is called as voltage ed is equal to voltage e means electric field d means distance between two plates v means voltage this is a basic point this is a relation between force and intensity of electric field intensity of electric field is equal to force by charge this is electric force is equal to electric field into charge electric field into charge now we will see the figure this is a positive plate this is a negative plate and direction of electric field is from positive plate to negative field this is a direction of electric field direction of electric field is from positive terminal to negative terminal negative terminal this is a electric field now this is a positive charge this is a negative charge this positive charge is uh, suspended suspended by the string suspended by the string one end of the string is connected here another end of the string is connected to bob and this bob having the mass m and the bob having positive charge positive charge this plate is positive this positive charge will repel to positive charges downward direction that is electrostatic force this bob having uh bob having weight that weight is at vertically downward direction force and weight at vertically downward direction this is a charge the charge this is a string string having the tension the tension is always uh, away from the bob away from the bob tension is balanced by the force plus weight tension is balanced by the tension is balancing force and balancing force balancing force means number of forces acting on the body is uh, zero number of forces net force acting on the body balancing force and balancing force one more basic point basic point balancing condition unbalancing condition balancing condition means uh, f1 f2 two forces acting on the body two forces acting on the body both are in opposite direction net force is equal to phi minus phi both are in opposite direction means one is positive another one is negative net force is zero the body is rest the body is rest that is a balancing force balancing force balancing force balancing force that is a balancing force now you'll see this is a very very important balancing force and balancing point you will see the basic point basic point balancing condition on balancing condition balancing condition on balancing condition balancing condition means this is of one body this is a force acting this body is so f1 is equal to phi newton this is f2 is equal to phi newton both are in opposite net force acting on the body is net force one force acting in this direction five one force acting in this direction forces are vector function this is a magnitude but the direction is one is this direction is positive this is a negative so magnitude is zero f net is equal to zero net force acting on the this body is zero the body is rest position because that is a balancing condition balancing condition means uh, body should be rest body is at rest that is called as balancing force number of forces number of forces acting on the body acting on the body net force is acting on the body is zero we call balancing condition balancing condition unbalancing condition means uh, net force uh, not equal to zero that is unbalancing force net force is zero we call balancing condition balancing condition balancing condition now here 
in balancing condition suppose this is a body this body is in motion net force acting on this body is not equal to zero the body is in motion net force is equal to net force is acting on the body is zero the body is at rest position this is a balancing condition this is unbalancing condition now this is a balancing condition bob is at rest means balancing condition this is a time series upward direction uh, electric force and weight acts vertically downward direction vertically downward direction tension is uh, balanced by force uh, plus weight force plus weight net force is here zero the bob is at rest position the bob is rest position balancing the bob is at balancing condition tension is equal to f plus mg tension is balanced by the force plus weight f is equal to uh, tension nothing but force f e plus mc f e means uh, eq plus mc according to newton second law m a m take this side what will happen eq by m plus m mg by m mm cancel g means acceleration to gravity i'm taking g effect is equal to g plus eq by m eq by m next to negative charge negative charge means uh, mc is equal to t plus uh, this is a uh, p plus f e is balanced by the mg otherwise uh, mg is balanced by the tension plus force balancing condition the bob is at rest minus q is at rest position i'm going to write the equations mg is equal to t plus f e t is equal to mg minus f e f e is equal to mg minus e q m a is equal to mg minus e q a is equal to mg by m minus e q by m mm cancel each other g f e t is equal to g minus e q by m for fast to charges uh, time period of simple pendulum this is a negative charge this is a time period of simple pendulum time period of simple pendulum we are getting this equation this is a very very important For the second one, this is a negative charges. This is a positive plate. This is a positive charge. This is a negative charge. Negative charge. So we have to find out T effect. T effect. Electric field is from positive to negative. Positive to negative. This is a direction of electric field. This positive plate. will repel to the charges in upward direction that is f e and tension is upward direction so it is downward direction this is a fast plate this is a negative plate fast plate will attract negative negative charges downward direction that is f e and uh, this bob having weight that is act vertically downward direction this is a tension in a string so now we are going to write the equation for fast to charge for negative charge for fast to charge is uh, for fast to charge uh, what will happen balancing upward force plus upward force plus downward force we calling we calling this is a balancing condition t is equal to mg minus f e t is equal to we are going to write mg minus eq now your equation negative charge means uh, upward force upward force is balancing by the downward force T is equal to F plus M G. T is equal to now you can write this is a T is equal to F means a uh, E Q plus M G E Q plus M G. T means uh, now you will write this is a tension. T means uh, nothing much. T means a uh, force. So force means M A is equal to M G minus E Q E Q. A is equal to M G by M minus E Q by M, M M cancel each other. A means acceleration to gravity. G effect is equal to 
g minus e cube by m t is equal to time period of simple pendulum uh, l by g effect means so g minus e cube by m this is uh, your answer next negative charge means uh, t is equal to force force means f is equal to newton second line m a t is equal to e q plus m g is equal to t means m a e q plus m g so m take this side e q by m plus uh, m g by m m m cancel this is a uh, we i'm writing a means acceleration to gravity g effect is equal to g plus uh, e q by m this is a time period of simple pendulum for a negative charge is l by g plus uh, e q by m your answer is this one. Your answer is that one. So next, uh, so this is a plate, also plate. This is a negative plate, pa parallel plate, capacitor, parallel plate, capacitor. Now this is a receipt body. Um, this is a thread. This is a string, string having positive charge. String having both, both having positive charge. Positive charge. Positive charge. Charge is positive. Now you will see, uh, this is a positive plate, this is a negative plate. Activate the electric field. Direction of electric field is from positive to negative. This positive plate will ripple to this positive charge is uh, this direction clear now this is a initial position now this is a make an angle theta now 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 you will see this is a double side tension double side tension now you will see this is a tension i am resolving into this is a components this is a So this is a charge weight W is equal to mc. This is a weight. Now this is a positive plate. This positive charge will refer to positive charges this direction. That is a uh, FE, electrostatic force. Electrostatic force. Here angle theta. Here also angle theta. Opposite angle. Opposite angle. Now you'll see. So this is a T means nothing but a force. T means a force. I'm taking F, uh, T is equal to force. I'm taking this is a net force. I'm taking net force. I'm taking you will see the net force is equal. To. You can apply the tan theta I is equal to tan theta is equal to tan theta means uh, opposite side. This is uh, opposite side means uh, MC MC by this is opposite side by adjacent side F. Now, Fe means uh, intensity of electric field is equal to force by charge. F is equal to Eq. F is equal to tan theta is equal to yeah. mg by Eq. mg by Eq, that is a theta. That is a theta. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, ma. One minute. This is a post plate. Post plate. This is a post charge. This is a negative plate. Negative plate. Direction of electric field is from positive to negative. Positive to this positive charge will ripple to this positive charge is uh, this direction. Now charge is at this place. This positive charge will ripple to positive charge is this direction. This is how we call 
this force is electrostatic force electrostatic force yeah electrostatic force is yeah now this is a initial force this is a making angle theta this is a vertical this is a initial position initial position now weight of this charge is w is equal to mg w is equal to mg this is i am extending this is a uh, this is a thing is i am extending like this this is a we call tension this is a we call tension or net force i am taking net force this is angle theta means i am taking also here also i am taking uh, an angle theta now you can write uh, tan theta tan theta is equal to now tan theta means uh, this is a uh, opposite side this is a uh, opposite side theta is equal to this is opposite side this of uh, this line is parallel to f f p by adjacent side means of uh, weight adjacent side means of uh, weight tan theta is equal to f means uh, eq by mc eq by mc this is this is a uh, theta that is a uh, theta now we will see net force net force tension nothing but force tension nothing but force force nothing but i'm taking net force of net is equal i'm taking this is a root of so <clears throat> this is a mg <clears throat> this is a of net means uh, you can write uh, <clears throat> this is a of e this is a weight mg this is a tension or of net uh, this is a making angle theta making angle it is now right f net is equal to f net right f net is equal to root of this is a, i'm taking this is a line this line is f now we'll see uh f net means mg square plus mg square plus f square f square according to pythagoras laws pythagoras laws this is a f net is equal to this is a f squared plus mg squared and this squared this is the f net your answer is this one. f net now f net means according to newton second law ma this is a mg squared plus this is a eq both squared you can write this else now say so m take common ma is equal to m root of g squared plus eq by m whole square m whole square mm cancel this is a g fq is equal to root of g square plus eq by m whole square 